In this video lecture, I am going to talk about how we can draw the Pareto chart as well as cause and effect diagram using our statistical programming language. So for that, first of all, we need a package called QCC, which is quality control charts. So as we know that how we can install this package, so we can go to packages, go to install, we can write down QCC and then if we press enter then we can uh, click on install button so make sure your computer is connected with the internet so once we install it as i have already installed it so that means now i need to call this particular package okay so first of all we have to install it and then the next stage is we need to call this particular library in order to use the functions available in this particular library so if I run this library, so now the library is run. Now I can, in order to draw the Pareto chart, first of all, I'm going to define a vector or you can say a variable in which I am storing the frequency. So in frequency for that, I am basically defining a vector with the help of C, which is a concatenate function. Okay, so that is 80, 27 and so on. So this is the first variable that is defect. Okay, so now I'm giving the name like 80 is what kind of defect it is. Then 27, it is what kind of defect it is. So if I'm not giving any particular name over here, so it will consider like ABC. Okay, so let me draw without giving the name, first of all, and then we will define the name. So in order to draw the Pareto chart, so once we have defined the defect, in order to draw the Pareto chart, I can write on Pareto.chart, then the name of the variable in which we have stored the frequency, and then I am labeling the y-axis, okay, which is with the name error frequency. So if I run this, so I can see that uh, in a plot window, so this is a Pareto chart, as I have told you, so it will give us the name a b c d e and so on right on y axis it is showing the error frequency and against the y axis we have the cumulative percentage but if i want to give the name of the particular error type so we can display that one so how we can do that so i have to run this command and then again draw a Pareto chart now we can see that what kind of error come first and then second and so on so if we can apply the 80-20 rule, so we can apply over here like this to this. So which means if we would be, if we want to solve our 80% of the problem, so we have to focus on the first three type of defects, right? Now, uh, if I want to uh, display the x-axis labels, that is, uh, that means x-axis label as well as um, uh, for every type of the defect, I want to display the type of uh, problem on a horizontal uh, perspective instead of vertically display so we can use x-axis label will display the x-axis label that is error cause and las is equal to one means it will display these types of defects on a horizontal uh, way so that is just uh, uh, change the display perspective of these labels so if i run this command so as you can see that this is changed okay so the next one is if i want to use this one and i want to uh, change the color of every bar okay so i want that the color will be displayed differently then i can use the function called column is equal to rainbow length of defect okay so that means the length of defect means this is a different type of defect so every bar should have the different colors okay so if i run this command so we can see that right so now i want to uh, first of all change the label of this one that is i want to display the name of fine uh, a finer uh, tick mark marks grid right number one number two uh, now i want to dis uh, change the display from the sequence of cumulative percentage from 0 to 100 and with the bar should be 5% with the gap should be the 5% so basically that 5% will be the different types of grid so you will see different types of tick mark over here so if I 
uh, run this particular command so now you can see that against every percentage we have a line right so this is the Pareto chart which you can uh, draw using our programming language okay so now we are going to uh, display the cause and effect diagram so how we can draw the cause and effect diagram using uh, our statistical programming language so there is a function in a qcc which is cause dot and cause effect uh, dot effect so then cause is equal to list measurements are the main causes and then the sub causes we are writing down in a concatenate function again so like such as against the measurements we have the sub causes micrometer microscope and so on similarly we have against the material we have identified the root causes against the machine we have identified the root causes and the effect is equal to that is surface flow so if i run this particular command so we can see that so this is the effect so these are the main causes these are the sub causes okay uh, so this is how we can draw the cause and effect diagram as well as a Pareto chart using statistical programming language. I hope it is clear. So thank you so much.